It was John McCain's voice and credibility that stopped the Democratic Congress from losing this war. General Petraeus' plan will be a model for generations to come, and our troops will be heroes for the ages. Those who predicted failure voted to cut off funding for our troops and played politics with our national security will be footnotes in history. Let there be no, let there be no doubt about it, we are on the road to victory. <laughs> victory! You can say it at this convention, we are winning. <laughs> and you know what? America is safer because we're winning in Iraq. A Muslim nation in the heart of the Arab world that rejected al-Qaeda, a nation where the rule of law replaces the rule of gun, a place in the Mideast where a woman can finally have a say about her children's future. <laughs> While Barack Obama expresses appreciation for our troops' service, he refuses to acknowledge their success. They have worked too hard, they have sacrificed too much for a patronizing pat on the back. <laughs> Barack Obama went two and a half years between visits to Iraq and never once sat down with General Petraeus. If Barack Obama cannot appreciate that our troops are winning in Iraq, he should not be their Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Barack Obama doesn't care, I'm just saying he doesn't get it. <laughs> not once, not once, was a Barack Obama's eloquent voice ever raised in support of victory in Iraq. Not once was it used to rally our troops in battle. Instead, he inspired those who supported retreat and would have accepted our defeat. We should all be grateful, ladies and gentlemen, that a Barack Obama was unable to defeat the surge. The surge was a test for Barack Obama. He failed miserably. <laughs> Our troops deserve a Commander-in-Chief who acknowledges their success, has walked in their shoes, speaks their language, shares in their sufferings, and will lead them to victory in a war we cannot afford to lose. <laughs> person is my dear friend, John McCain. John often says he would rather lose a campaign than lose a war. Here's the good news. We're going to win this war, and John McCain will be our next president of the United States. even better, because John McCain has one of the toughest and most talented political reformers in America as his running mate. Let's watch, right behind me, 
and learn more about the phenomenal governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin. God bless America.